up until this point, all of the problems that we've been doing require only one equation. We read the information in the problem, we create an equation, and then we solve for the missing information. Even when we started looking at two variable equations, we only are writing one equation to model the word problem, and that's all we need to figure out the missing information. Now we're going to start looking at problems or scenarios that require more than one equation to model the problem. Here you see we have two equations, y equals x plus 1 and y equals 2x minus 1. These equations together make up a system of equations. So this unit we're going to start looking at systems of equations. The purpose for systems of equations is to compare and contrast equations. We can't always model an entire problem with only one equation. For example, if I have two students running and they're running at different rates, I need two different equations to model each person's speed. And then I can use those equations to figure out when one student passes another or the point where they're the same distance. Take a second and pause the video and write down this definition in your notes. So again, a system of equations is a collection of two or more equations. We could have three or four here. We're only going to focus on two. Our goal with the systems of equations is to find the unknown value that will satisfy every equation in the system. That is, I am looking for a solution that would be true for both equations. Recall that a solution for a equation when we have two variables is always an ordered pair, right? It's always x, y, right? Because we have two unknowns. So I'm looking for an ordered pair that's going to satisfy this equation and that same ordered pair will also satisfy this equation. Remember when we say satisfy, that means that when we substitute it into the equation, we end up with a true statement. Please take a second and write this down in your notebook. So again, just to really iterate the point, a solution to a system of equations is always going to be an ordered pair when we're working with a two-variable equation. For example, the solution to the system that we've been looking at so far is 2, 3. If I substitute 2 in for x, 2 plus 1 is 3. I get a true statement, 3 equals 3. This ordered pair satisfies this equation. When I substitute the same ordered pair into the equation below, 2 times 2 minus 1, I get 4 minus 1 is 3. Again, I get that same um, answer of 3 equals 3. I get a true statement. So this ordered pair also satisfies this equation. So this ordered pair is a solution for this system of equations. This, this one just happens to work out so that they both are 3 equals 3. But remember, it just has to be a true statement. This could be 3 equals 3, and if this one had worked out to be 2 equals 2, that would also satisfy both equations. We get a true statement either way. So it doesn't have to be the same numbers in each one. It just has to be true for each equation. So don't let that confuse you. Notice that we can also see the solution for systems graphically. Now, when we've looked at one equation on its own and we ask how many solutions does the equation have, we always have infinitely many, right? Because, for example, this x plus 1, how many solutions are there? Well, there's infinitely many. Every point on that red line is a solution for that equation. When we're looking at systems, though, we don't always have infinitely many solutions because we're looking for the ordered pair that satisfies both equations. Notice here that this... Um, set of equations we've already seen has the solution 2, 3, and when we look at it graphically, that is the only place that the graphs are intersecting. So that is the only solution that the graphs share. So that means that this system of equations only has one solution, and that solution is the ordered pair 2, 3. Again, because that's the only place that both graphs have in common. In this unit, we're going to look at three specific ways to solve systems graphing, substitution, and elimination. Today you're going to start on graphing. 